Hurtwood has currently three traps implemented into the game. First, the landmine. Second, the poison trap. And uh, third but not least, the medusa plant. This video guide will answer all questions and give some cool tips and tricks on how to use those traps to your advantage. Mines can be crafted with 5 dynamite, 10 shaped iron and 1 ember. The explosion can't harm buildings but will kill off anything else. Especially if you're driving around with a car and uh, someone else planted the landmine in the middle of the street, it will instantly kill you. And a fun fact is that uh, usually cars are capable of surviving those uh, blasts, therefore this is a free uh, method for you to obtain some new cars or quad bikes. Mines can't be triggered by any animals, no matter how big they are, triggered uh, manually by shooting it. And their explosion radius is approximately the size of the blast radius, as you could see it right now. Poison traps trigger as well when being shot at or being closed by it, when run over it. The really cool thing about poison traps is that you have the possibility to build um, a truss foundation and to put those poison traps inside on top of those uh, wooden sticks here. And if someone, if you put now a floor on top of it and someone still decides to run through it, they will still trigger and explode. So this is absolutely brilliant, can be used in a base defense, in the base, on the inside uh, to protect yourself. Uh, some decoy rooms, for example, to make it more hard for the enemy to get into and uh, steal your loot. Another very worth mentioning aspect is of course that if you crouch down in this area, you can replace those um, poison traps from the outside looking into into it and then it makes things easier because you don't have to replace the floor on top. When poison traps explode they leave like an AOE area of effect behind in a circle around the point of origin meaning that everything which comes into contact with or gets into the close proximity of it will start getting a lot of poison damage and approximately you can say that each poison trap when you run over it will take away like half of your life. This is a vague statement as it always depends on the amount of poison resistance you have on you when this happens. However, the damage of the poison trap can't be really stacked, therefore placing several poisons, poison traps next to each other is usually has usually no big effect. The poison trap can be crafted by three poison sacks, ten woods, five strong string and one Saskatch pad. Those three poison sacks you will get as a rare drop from those spitters and Saskatch pelt is uh, obtained from Yetis. It is quite of expensive to use it, but they are really fun to do, so you need to decide how secure you need to make your base yourself. Last but not least, the Medusa tree is the natural hurtful equivalent to barbed wire in other games every time you get close to it it will sting you it will hurt you and every time you try to put a swing against it to remove it after some time you will get more damage as well the damage is quite severe so it will do a lot of damage to you when you try to get it away And as you can see, I'm falling down to 40% of my health when I try to remove it entirely. So Medusa plants can be crafted rather easily to, uh, compared to the other traps. You just need some irritated orange seeds and one shaped ultrinium. You get those irritated orange seeds by putting orange seeds into a chest, into a container uh, where, where radiation is around. After some time they will change into those irradiated orange seeds and you can craft already the medusa seed. The medusa seed needs approximately well, quite some time to grow so be patient with it but then they are like the perfect defense around your base against any raid attempts or even people trying to annoy you by being close by. 
However, I would suggest to place another wall around them to make sure that not so fresh spawned or naked players can run in just destroy it and then sacrifice himself you want it to hurt as much as possible if you find this video helpful you are maybe interested in a little bit of background information on phil with skill and my person you can find those on facebook under phil with skill